Hello submarine friends. I thought I'd make a video about my latest project which is a heavy duty ROV. The inspiration came from being worried about being entangled in the bottom of the lake with my submarine. So there's really no way to rescue me. I can drop the chassis, jettison weights, etc. But if all else fails I need to be rescued. So with no rescue in sight this is the answer. So this is a, a 600 pound ROV with a five function arm. It's four function right now, but it will be five function. Um, the arm is fully electric. It is oil compensated. So the actuators are actually full of oil. And this bladder here is what provides the oil. So it's just a rubber bladder. It's actually an airbag from a pickup truck. So it squeezes, which pressurizes the inside of the actuators. This right here is the camera housing. It used to be a flash for a camera from an old school submarine. And I converted it to a camera housing by removing the dome window and machining a one inch thick flat window, which gives you better optics. This right here is the LED light bar. It's been tested to 3000 feet so far and no problems at all. So this is uh, 20,000 lumen, and that should give me all the lighting I need. I can stack as many of these as I want on, so I can have all the lighting that I want. But I'm starting with 20,000 lumen. So that's the front of the ROV. Uh, actually, let's talk about this. This right here is the buoyancy tank. Most ROVs use, well, I think all ROVs use syntactic foam to give them the buoyancy they need. That stuff is super expensive. So I'm using a carbon fiber pressure tank. It's actually a natural gas tank off a vehicle. It can hold 3,600 PSI. At 2,000 PSI, it gives me 550 pounds buoyancy. So there's about 100 pounds of air inside that I have to compensate for. So this is the valve, obviously, that, that uh, holds the air in and lets the air out. So I can actually connect that to a uh, first stage scuba regulator. So if I want to salvage something with a lift bag, this will provide me the air to fill the lift bag, plus still maintain buoyancy in the ROV. So that's really a handy feature. Let's move on to the side of the ROV. So here on the side of the ROV, you can see the electric junction box. So this has a screw on uh, lid with the O-ring seal. So it's actually full of oil and it's full of all the wires that control the arms. So the, the wires actually travel through the oil lines to each actuator. Then there's the pressure compensating bladder right here that squeezes that oil. So moving on, this battery right here is actually a golf cart battery, plain and simple. It's filled with water and acid, just like normal, but it's topped off with oil. So the top inch or two, whatever it is, is actually motor oil. And so then I've machined these caps to replace the original vented caps. And they have a brass fitting in them that leads through a hose to this manifold. It's, so this whole, the hoses and manifold are full of oil. And then they go to another bladder. And that bladder squeezes as the pressure increases, which pressurizes the oil inside the battery. The electric connections will be potted. So the cables bolt on and then they're potted. So there should be no shorting at all. And I'm hoping it works well. I think it will. So here's the vertical thruster. This right here is the electronics can. It's not bolted down yet. So it has an aluminum end cap, which is machined with an O-ring seal. And all the electric penetrators go through that aluminum lid to the solenoids and electronics that operate this, the uh, ROV. Aft thruster, one on each side. Vertical thruster, one on each side. So these are the clamps that hold the carbon fiber tank in place. And then there's going to be lifting eyes on top of these two brackets. And that's how we'll lift it on and off of the boat. I'm planning a fiberglass body from this height over the top, just like the, uh, the submarine I have. So it'll be nice orange, of course, um, fiberglass cover. And then the sides will be all enclosed with guarding of some sort. We'll try to make it look as cool as I can. So that's the uh, progress on the ROV so far. It's going a lot quicker than I thought. It's a lot easier than I thought. So I should see it in a test pool in a matter of a few weeks. So wish me luck. Ciao for now.